my channel so this is another story time video but I get into the story I just want to say um, one it is a very 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 important of me to want to interact with you guys and get to know you and know my subscribers so um, please 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 um, just like you know tell your friends to join in because I will be doing a you now I don't know when I'm going to be doing a you now you may see this outfit that I am wearing twice because I just did a get ready with me first impression video of elf milk makeup products cannot talk but anyways um, today I'm going to talk about fake friends and you know give you guys some advice and tell you guys my story with my fake friends so in high school I had this friend and I'm just going to call her C and C and I met through track practice freshman year we became really good friends and we were always together freshman year sophomore year came and me and her had chemistry class together and we was always doing our partner assignments together and everything one day our teacher told us to join a group with two other people creating a group of four people so C and I, we couldn't find a group to join. So we went to this table with these girls, L, D, and S. I knew L because she was one of my friends that I met freshman year, and we were always together. We had the same group of friends. I didn't know who D was until like chemistry class, and I didn't know who S was until chemistry class. Teacher comes over and she says, ladies, you have to be in a group of four, not five, so one of you go join that group over there. And, the teacher walked away and um, as she started the one, two, three, not it. So we were just looking around like, okay, who's going to leave? But nobody was leaving. She came back. She was like, ladies, you need to be in a group of four, not five. One of you go over there. So S was like, we already got our person, but she won't go. And she was looking at me. And I'm like, I wasn't the last one to say it. Why can't one of you guys go? And the teacher was like, okay, that's it. We're not doing the lab experiment because of these ladies. And C decided, okay, I'll just go. I'll go. So she went to go join that group. She told us to pick a reader of the group. The reader was responsible for anything that went wrong in the experiment. So if we missed this step, if we did something too late or we did something too early, it would be the reader's fault. S was like, I don't want to be the reader. So I was like, I'll be the reader. And I had to go to the back of the classroom, get the bucket, and C was the reader in her group and she had stopped at the table where they were and was like did you guys hear her she was like why can't one of you guys go then and they all started laughing so I'm like really C like you supposed to be my friend but okay I see how you are I got you we started doing the lab experiment and S was trying to take over being a reader so I was like you want to be the reader go ahead by all means be the reader so she was in charge of the group at the end of class, she ended up spilling some stuff all over the table and started freaking out. Then she was like, wait, I don't know why I'm freaking out because I'm not going to get in trouble. You are because you're the reader. And I was like, um, no, you're going to get in trouble because you spilled it. I said, second, um, she was talking about if we missed the step. And I was like, and third, you took over being the reader. So she shut up and she didn't say nothing. Two weeks go by and... All of our group of friends, we were all in the hallway. And behind me, I heard two girls talking. One girl was telling another girl what was happening in my chemistry class between me and S. So I turn around and I look and there's this girl, J. And there's this other girl, B. J was telling B what happened. So I just stood there and I was listening to their conversation. S comes over and she's like, what are you guys talking about? And Jay was like, what you was telling me about that girl in your chemistry class? I'm telling B, what happened? So S looked at me and she kind of looked all nervous and stuff. And I guess that's when Jay realized that S was talking about me. She was like, I know everybody over here except you. And I, she, so I'm like... Okay, so she asked me what my name was. I told her who I was. She asked me what middle school I went to. I told her what middle school. She asked me if I knew who she was. I said yes. She asked me how did I know her and I told her from around and on top of that we sat at the same table and we had the same group of friends. And B was like, do you know my name? And I was like, yeah. She asked me what her name was and she started going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that is so scary. How does she know my name? 
And I'm like, girl, we went to middle school together. And she was like, I've never seen you a day in my life. Jay started talking about like, well, go with your friends. You can't sit with us. We don't like you. Go away. We don't like people who went to arms. So lunch ended and the next day comes along. And at the end of lunch again, here she goes. She's trying to humiliate me, make it seem like I have no friends and nobody likes me or whatever. And she's like, oh my gosh, what did we tell you yesterday? Who here went to Alms raise your hand? So everybody who went to Alms raise their hand. She was like, pretend you went to Abbott for a second. They were like, why? And she was like, just do it. She looked at me, she was like, you went to Alms, right? I didn't say nothing. She was like, what did we tell you yesterday? We don't like people who went to Alms. You can't sit with us, go away, goodbye, leave, go find your own friends. So me and her sat at the same table. It was like my group of friends sat with like them, like everybody. I did not know who she was. All, all I knew was I knew her name because we sat at the same table and we had the same group of friends and that was all it was. And it was like um, all the group, like our friends coming together as one, you know, whole, well, two whole tables. So she really wanted me to leave and she kept doing this for like the past couple days of trying to get me to leave the table. Next day comes along and I walk into the building expecting to go with my friends and you know everything and I walk in and I see them and they're like run 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 here she go here she go run 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 and every time they saw me in the hallway they was running. And I'm like, what the freak is going on? Like, why are they doing that? And they were only doing it when they were together as a group. If they were by themselves, they were not doing it at all. At lunchtime, here we go again. She's trying to get me to leave the table. Monday comes along. I have every intention on going off on this girl. So I walk into the building and I see like all my so-called friends standing around her and even like all these guys and stuff standing around her because she was crying because her brother had just died and I was like oh I'm not going to say nothing because that'd be petty and very immature so I just like brushed it off and let it go I ended up having lunch with B that day there was nobody in our freaking lunch like marathon days was usually dead nobody was in that lunch so it was just me and her and the guys that was at the table. So it was an awkward lunch. The next day comes along, at the end of lunch, B leans over to Jay and she was like, yesterday she... And the, Jay was like, I know, she always following us around, see, watch. So they got up and they went in the hallway. So I'm still, so I'm sitting at the table with like the guys and um, my couple of my friends that day they didn't have lunch that day with us I don't know I think they had switch periods or something I don't know but they didn't have lunch that day I think yeah their lunch got switched or something that day so I was just sitting at the table with the guys and I continued eating my lunch and then when I got up to go throw my food in the trash I happened to look out in the hallway and I see them girls like staring at the window like looking to see if I was about to come outside it was in the hallway with them. I don't know. This continued on for the rest of the week. And then I was telling my mother about this. Like, I don't know why they acting like this. I never did anything to none of them. I mean, what the heck? I don't even know what to do. Like, this is just ridiculous. So, my mother told me to go tell the principal. Because just in case anything happened, I am covered. And if we get in a fight, like the school was already aware of everything and what's going on. And it would be on the school if something happened to me. So I told my counselor on like Friday and she was like, okay, well, she was confused. She was like, this doesn't make sense. Why are they acting like this? I'm like, I have no idea. And she was like, okay, well, we're going to handle it. We'll discuss this on Monday. First hour on Monday comes. They called B down to the office, talk to her. Second hour, I'm called down, and they tell me that basically she said that I was talking about her. I'm like, the heck? All they could recommend doing was sitting at a different table. So I went to go sit at a table with my junior friends. 
and I was telling them and they like, oh my gosh, they're so childish. Let me tell you, every one of those girls turned around and they were staring at me at this other table. The whole freaking lunch. Then they, when they were leaving out, they were slowly walking past my table staring. And I'm like, seriously, what is up with these girls? As I was like on my way to seventh hour class, I see um, M and M was like, hi Raven. And I was like, hi. And she was like, why didn't you sit at the table with us? And well, she was like, why didn't you sit at the table today? And I was like, you know why? Got to the end of the hallway and she was like, Raven. And I was like, what? She was like, is it true that you was talking about B? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, are they seriously trying to pin this on me? Talking about her? Seriously. In chemistry class, S was like, C, C, you know she told, right? And C was like, yeah, I know B told me. And she started laughing. And this boy was like, what? What are you talking about? She was like, B and them been messing with Raven. And Raven went to go tell. And she was like, that's so stupid. Why would you go tell? So she turned around to me and she was like, Raven, you told them B and them for messing with you? I was like, she goes, why? I was like, and turned my head. And every time we had like a lab experiment in class, they would tell C to hurry up and get over there before I did. And I'm looking like, girl, I don't even care. She could go join that group if she wants to. I'd rather be with the smart kids anyways. During that semester, I had a dance concert coming up. So I had my hair in a ponytail and it was black and brown. And when I went to chemistry class, S was like, see, you see her hair? And C was like, yeah. And S was like, it looks like, it looks like a bowl of pasta. And C just started laughing. How does hair look like a bowl of pasta? Girl. And she found out that I got in a fight with this girl back in eighth grade and one. So after then, like she was biting her nails and she never said anything to me. She never said nothing smart again in class. She left me alone. Senior year comes along, the drama started back up because I have class with Jay. Jay was so fake. S came up and danced with me well danced on me at homecoming um we all had the same still had the same group of friends and we were like all together in our dance class we had the same group of friends only a couple people didn't know who i was em and i we squashed the drama um we became cool because we had another class together and my friends from middle school was also in that class so again we all came together as like one group and jay just like the people who didn't know me they pretty much had like well one of the girls who didn't know me she pretty much had her assumptions about me and she didn't like me from jump and we had like a, a bunch of awkward moments that was like that pretty much was it for like a minute and then the stuff came back up because she was talking about like she was planning on going off on some girl a couple people she was being fake. She was talking about one of her friends that day. She was talking about this one girl for complimenting her on her dress at homecoming. And she was talking about this other girl. She was talking about she was a hoe. Then she was um, planning on going off on this one girl at lunchtime because she thought the girl drank her liquor. While I'm like on my way to, because it was lunchtime, and I was on my way to the library and I was walking in front of her and like all them girls. And she had brought up, she was like, one of these days, I'm gonna ask her why she don't have any friends. And then she was like, let me shut up because she's the type of person that will blow up the school. I turned around and I said, if you got something to say, come say it to my face. So she was like, you have no friends, nobody likes you, and you follow everybody around. I'm like, girl, I don't follow you around. What are you talking about? So she's like, calm down, calm down. You don't follow me around, but you follow everybody else around. And they're not going to tell you because they're scared of you or whatever, but I'm not scared of you. Joe ends up coming over and just standing there. And Jay was like, Joe, don't she follow you around? Joe was like, she don't follow me around. And Jay was like, well, everybody else said you follow them around. And we just continue arguing. And I don't even remember how we stopped. And we actually got called into the office about this a couple of days later because we had two days off of school. Pretty much the guy sided with her. The guy pretty much kind of, kind of sided with her. 
he felt like one I was the aggressive one in the situation because I turned around and I said something to her and he asked me why did I say something to her and I said because she's been bothering me since sophomore year and I had enough I was like I don't know what her attention are. maybe she want to fight or what because if she want to scrap we can scrap or whatever but I don't know and so he felt like I was the aggressive one in the situation and started explaining like suspension policies and stuff and he felt like I followed him around and I'm like, how would I follow these girls around if we're all friends? The only ones that's not friends is me and her. <laughs> me and her and then like two other people. But the rest of them people, we're friends. We know each other. We talk on the phone. We hang out on a regular basis. We walk each other to class, whatever. So how am I following these people around? I was so confused. She basically was telling him that I don't follow her around. She, no, she don't have a problem with me. It was just... That other people were saying that so two girls got called down to the office and one of them said that I don't follow them around she didn't know who I was until we had dance class together she just thought it was funny that Jay said I follow people around the other girl was M and she was like Raven and I are cool and we have class together and we talk um, so since Jay started drama with me sophomore year and I didn't even associate with her I was like okay what the heck is she gonna do in this class, if I do talk and associate really to her, what is she going to do? She's going to really start drama with me then. So, I mean, I just didn't really associate with her. I tried to keep my distance with her. Even though we had the same group of friends and I was with my group of friends, I still tried to, like, distance myself from her. But she still took it as me, like, following them around. I see you guys, like, if you deal with any fake friends and drama and stuff like that you need to sit down and evaluate your friends pay attention to those people and that's what i do with a lot of people that i'm meeting for the first time i really sit and i pay attention and like get an idea of what they're like before saying oh they're my friends or before telling them anything because a lot of these girls and a lot of these people are so messy and you know you don't want to be in drama you don't want like no I'm the person that don't get in drama ever. Last time, I am 24 right now. Last time I was in drama, I was 19, and that was with my roommate. The time before that, I was 17, and I was dealing with this girl. Before that, I was 15 and dealing with this girl. So, I'm not a person that gets in drama, and it's all because I sit and I evaluate and pay close attention to those people that I bring into my circle, and or those people that I just meet for the first time and really get a feel for them before sitting here and you know saying certain things around them or really associating with them. And um, I know it seemed like having more friends, you seem popular and really cool and like everything, but the more friends that you have, the more problems that you will have. And there's a chance like if someone is talking about someone that's in your group of friends is sitting here talking about someone else that's in your group of friends what do you think is going on too they are sitting there and they're talking about you as well so that's how I feel on that situation find people who are like you and that you could get along with and you feel comfortable around and you feel that you can talk to and who's there for you when you need because I really did I had to eliminate friends who was calling me just to dump their problems out on me and in return whenever I'm trying when I'm going through something they can't tell me advice or anything they don't want to listen or they're like oh you know my mom's calling or something like that bye you're not my friend you only call me when you want to gossip and you want to talk about yourself but when it's about me you don't want to listen so eliminate those people out the group those people who does that he said she said mess goodbye eliminate them off the group that is it on my fake friend story and some advice if you like this video thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe tune in every sunday monday and wednesday for a new video thanks for watching